In the previous lesson, we used this word called as isolated. This was one of the feature sets of a container. Isolation means speed. Containers are small entities than virtual machines, which are rather big. And because they are big, it takes a lot of time to deploy a virtual machine as compared to containers that are small and fast. Isolation also means responsive. Their startup times are short. Isolation means versatility. Containers are portable between different platforms and also between different cloud vendors. And that's how they deliver various benefits. With all of these benefits, you get increased flexibility and speed when developing and sharing the application code. Containerization is one of the latest developments in the evolution of cloud computing. There are several organizations that are looking at a container as a means to improve their application life cycle. So that's how they can streamline and accelerate application deployment. With containers, you can modernize your existing applications, create cloud-native enterprise-scale applications, and open your data center to work with cloud services. With containers, you get a simplified application testing platform, and the set of containers can take higher workload density, and that results in improved resource utilization. Containers are becoming a preferred way to package, deploy, and manage your cloud applications. That's only because they are lightweight software components that bundle the application, its dependencies, into a single image and run those isolated user environments on a traditional operating system, on a traditional server, or probably in a virtualized environment. Just to summarize, containers are a way you can deploy your applications faster, simpler, and also incorporating the agile methodologies that we use today. In the next lesson, let's go ahead and learn about how Azure incorporates container into the service offering called as Azure Container Instances.